pretty bird flock. Guys, say hi. Hi. Hi, hi everybody. Hi. Pretty bird, can you say hi? Say hi. Hi, pretty bird flock. Hey, everybody. We wanted to let you know that we are, that we're doing okay. And we wanted to check in real quick and show you all what we're up to. We're right now on this beautiful ginormous grass field. We're having fun with Pretty Bird. Yes, we are. And Pretty Bird's being a good girl. Yeah. And um, we wanted to uh, wish everyone health and safety and just hope you're all hanging in there, that you're safe and okay. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to tell you guys something funny real quick because uh, our cockatiel, Pikachu, actually decided to fly from his cage in our bedroom all the way to the other side of the room into the bathroom around the corner and land on my husband's head while he was going to the bathroom. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty funny. What do you guys think? Isn't that funny? Yeah. Daddy had a bird on his yeah. head while he's trying to go to the bathroom. <laughs> What's up with our birds? Weirdy pansies. Pretty bird's a little bit bored lately because I am taking her out in the evening. Evenings generally. Sorry for all the wind. It's very windy in Arizona tonight. We have a thunderstorm coming in real soon. And, um, but basically, um, we have, uh, we just did a video and I think I might have actually lost it. My memory went full and I think that the video may have disappeared. It was such a good video of Pretty Bird just racing with the kids and me and just so fun and the sun was shining and now the sun's going down and the video is not working. So we will see whether or not we'll be able to somehow rectify that. But just in case we can get that other video work, I still want to give you all an update while we're outside real quick. Um, let you guys know that um, we are practicing social distancing very much so. We actually haven't really been outside much at all, right? This is one of the first times in a long time. Um, the and everything have been very busy with a lot of things in the area, which is understandable. Um, but we're obviously doing lots of activities at home. Pretty Bird does not like that very much. They'll check this out. A little bit of news right here. Pretty Bird's feathers on her chest are coming back. Y'all see all those little black ones? Those are new feathers, yeah. Pretty Bird's molting. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What? Mm. Thank you for kisses. But anyways, um, so I usually take Pretty Bird out in the evening, usually right after about this time in the evening. And um, it's usually too late to make videos. Um, I don't know if you guys want me to still make videos regardless with a flashlight. Y'all let me know in the comments if you think that that's something that you want me to do when we go out together. Um, while we're out in the evenings, because it's dark and Pretty Bird becomes a lot more hypervigilant because of the possible predators that are out here, she tends to not graze that much. So we are actually buying a lot more vegetables for her in the stores when we go to the store. Well, when I go to the store, the children don't. Um, in my full gear with my glasses, my mask, and my gloves, and my hand sanitizer, and my Lysol spray, and <laughs> um, anything I can possibly do um, since well, daddy. The coronavirus is in this. I feel like I'm in, I'm in a family of germophobics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're a bunch of germophobics. Well, daddy is um, my husband, their father. He is actually a 100% disabled veteran who has multiple pre-existing conditions that place him at high risk with this virus. So we are extremely careful about whether or not we are, you know, exposing ourselves to anybody or, you know, I, I, I take showers and everything when I get home from the store, make sure to take the shoes off, leave the groceries sitting for 24 hours. Um, Anything you need to put away right away, use your Lysol spray, your disinfecting wipes, wipe it down if you got to put it in the fridge right away. Um, there are many things we can do that we can find our professionals are giving us information. And it is smart to follow those things and be rather safe than sorry and keep ourselves, our friends, our family, and our neighbors um, 
healthy as much as possible, contribute to the solution rather than the problem. We don't want to help the coronavirus and give it a trip, right? <laughs> Anyways, so in the light of that, we actually did start a GoFundMe page for Pretty Bird, and anybody who would like to support us in continuously supporting this goose, please check out the comment section. Um, the, uh, no wait, not the comment section. Description of the video, the description section of the video. Please check it out. I will have a link for our GoFundMe page posted within the next couple of minutes. And um, you know, we would really appreciate it if you do decide to uh, support us or send us any kind of monetary support. But if you can't or don't want to, or whatever you decide. Um, but you still want to support us, you can do that in other ways. Now guys, how can they support us in other ways? Boots! And Didi? Subscribe, comment, and... Share and like. Yay, that's right. And then like I said, don't forget to check out our description where you'll find out ways to contact us and um, where to check out our GoFundMe page. We'd really appreciate it. Anyways, you all stay safe, stay healthy. Hey, everybody, let's say bye to our pretty bird flock. Are you ready? Bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye. Stay safe. Bye. Bye. bye.